experiences, but it rocked us, us, her readers, us, Quebec, us, women writers, all of us. Me, who only ever saw her out of the corner of my eye, who never knew her. I didn't even know what I was learning from her. What remains with Putain, with Folle, with Burka de Chat, with A Ciel Ouvert, with all of her collected oeuvres, is a startling, startlingly raw account, a deconstruction, a dissection of what it is to be a woman. Sex work could serve no better metaphor than to explore the nurtured need to please many women may be inculcated with. Arcan defines it, she refutes it, she bears it, she dismisses it, and her writing and doing so is not a sermon. It's a testament, as Nancy Houston writes in her introduction to Burka de Chat, a philosophy. The title of this last book of Arcan's addresses one of her recurring themes. Burka de Char speaks to the fact that women are clothed, hidden, masked by their own flesh. Reading and translating Arcan's work, I was reminded again and again how we pretend freedom we don't have. We are judged by who we are to men. We are bodies. We are bodies. Even in Quebec, even after the overthrow of the Catholic Church, even after the Quiet Revolution. Nelly Arcan's writing, like Marie-Cécile Abrèche's, like Kim Tui's, like Evelyn de la Chenelière's, have shown me how bold Quebec women are in their cultural criticism, in their humor, in their disgust, and their opinions on gender, on class, how astutely and specifically they describe their desires, their failures, and our societies. As I translated Arcan, I thought, let me be this sharp. Mm. I would have been excited but nervous to translate her had she been alive. Translating her after she died seemed like I was daring to do something I almost shouldn't. I was also keenly aware of being the only woman to translate her work into English. Let me be this brave, I thought. We're both women from here, she and I. We're from the same generation. I don't pretend we'd have been friends and I don't imagine she'd have liked me, but I need her body of work. I need her body of work. Part of my drive as a translator is that I want English Canada to read Quebec literature more widely. I want English language audiences to read Nelly Arcan, to know her talent, to keen our loss. Arcan was no mere bombshell beauty. She was a Molotov cocktail. She was a car bomb announcing a revolution. Woo! Woo!